Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and we're back with another Red Line Tuesday. I actually think this one is episode 50, and it was sent to us by Astrid, whose DeviantArt account, let me get a little closer, whose DeviantArt account is var, V-A-R, 312, uh, deviantart.com. So this is what we're doing today. So let's see, what can we start with here? Let's first um, drop a plumb line. So that looks good. And let's kind of lightly sketch out our contrapposto. So here's our three segmented uh, abdomen. This is our ribs, um, the, the pecs or the breasts or whatever you want to call them for this guy would be right about here, nipples would be about there, belly button's about here. All right, let's draw the crotch. Uh, so, let me see here. Just sort of marking where the knees are. So this drawing is actually like anatomy, composition, all that. As far as all that's concerned, it's actually, you know, real decent. It's just a few little things that are off here and there, sort of like a uh, So like this distance this distance from here to here is a little different from here to here. Like this foot looks wider than this one. So there's like little balancing issues that just need to be taken care of. Um, and I think his torso might be a little long. So I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably do something with that here. Yeah, I think his torso is just like a touch long. So there's the, the neck, so you kind of need to bring this all down a little bit more to meet that. Um, I think you could even bring the crotch up a little higher, maybe like that much. get a little closer now.
Um, it's a little hard to, to tell because the arms are bent, but generally the tips of the fingers need to fall about mid-thigh, maybe a little bit above mid-thigh, I would even think. Um, like I said, because the arms are bent, it's a little hard to tell, but eventually you'll kind of figure out when you're making things too small, like the hand was a little, I don't know, they feel a little short. So I've kind of internally lengthened everything. <laughs> but so yeah, like if his arms were extended, also his elbows are going back a little bit. So everything's a little f foreshortened going back that way. But if you can imagine if his arms were extended down, they would just need to hit like right about there. Okay, so I'm actually going to I am gonna go over the face real quick. Um, there's not a lot lot to say about it, but then I will move it down to where I think think it needs to sit and then I might kind of do an adjustment and see what I think of it. I don't know. I uh, I work on these Red Line Tuesdays the same way I'd work on like my own own drawings so Ooh. let's multiply that. But uh, yeah, so I work on these the way that I would work on my own art, and uh, so I tend to go back and forth a lot, just checking and measuring things. So, like here, I kind of made him look a little wall-eyed, so I just like moved that in. And... I think I'm just going to slender up his neck a little bit. He seems like a slender guy, so... Okay, so here's what I mean. I would move his head down like that.
And I don't know. I think I would even make his body a little skinnier. I have a bad habit of uh, when I'm going over red line too, says I tend to draw to the outside of the figure, and so then I start incorporating like the characters' clothes and stuff into their anatomy. They sort of bulk up <laughs> a little bit, so we'll just get rid of, or we'll just uh, skinny them up a bit. So. Let's combine these two guys. He's supposed to be like turning his foot up, I think, like looking at his, like kind of sheepishly looking at the bottom of his foot. I think I'm bending it too far up. Just make sure you let us see a little more underneath his his shoe here, like especially if he's rocking his whole foot back onto his heel you'd pretty much be able to see pretty far under there, like basically all the way back to his heel. And I'm curious about something here. So I kind of stretched him a little bit, uh, just to see how that would look. Though some of this here needs to get stretched back down. And I think that that's echoing more of the proportions that you're going for. And real quick, we will put some clues on him, just some basic stuff. Oh, you can't even barely see that color, can you? Okay, so right here, to help sort of differentiate uh, between the two foot positions, um, I would have this curving up, so that we're sort of seeing the underside of the lip of the top of this boot. This one going the other way. I guess these are like boot sandals.
what's going on here. <laughs> Not sure what... If this is supposed to be, like, translucent or... Like, is that part of the sleeve? I'm not sure. I'll just keep going with it. So just make sure that everything is, like, really draping. This shape will become your friend. <laughs> That's a really common shape to see in wrinkles. Um, you also get sort of these jagged V-shaped wrinkles. I mean, there's lots of different kinds, but all of them need to be pulling down to some degree. You know, what with gravity and all. Okay. And then uh, one last thing, <clears throat> and this is really just me being a butt. Just do a different color. Um, let's do, sure, a purple. <laughs> right, make sure your inanimate objects are like really symmetrical because I don't know what it is about inanimate objects maybe this is just me but when they're not like really really carefully drawn and like structurally sound I feel like it throws everything off like it throws off the illusion if you will so if you need to like fold a piece of paper and then like you know do the butterfly thing and like cut out your shape, like your shovel or whatever, and then, you know, use that to trace, do it. <laughs> but usually a roller is fine. Or in Photoshop, turning your, uh, turning your canvas. Don't worry, I am not very good at... Oh no, I drew through all my green. <clears throat> I'm not very good at drawing uh, inanimate objects myself. I usually have to use a lot of references before I feel like I'm anywhere near what I want. So, yeah, this was kind of a quick one, but like I said, it anatomically, it's pretty sound. I mean, I don't have to do a lot to it to get it, you know, pretty balanced and everything. So, yeah, I mean, oh boy, does it look special when you do that? little hard to stand. I guess the only other thing would be uh, right there. Try to get that foot more defined.
Alrighty. I think that is good to go. And that is all for this red line Tuesday. Let me flip it real quick. One second. I'm not done yet. There. Now that I'm looking at it from this direction, I think you could even I think this knee needs to go up more. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop fiddling around with it. So, one last time, let's thank Astrid at var312.deviantart.com for this drawing. And yeah, alrighty, cool beans. I will see you guys next time. Bye!